Hey YouTube, and it's the end of July, so you know what that means. It's time for me to show you guys what I picked up this month. You know, I've got a ton of games as always. Uh, lots of good stuff, so let's just go straight into it. I got first game is Battle Arena Toshinden on Game Boy. This is a pretty decent little uh, fighter. I'd check this one out if you want a fighting game on the Game Boy. The next, uh, I got a couple Super Nintendo games. I got Super Tennis. This is a pretty decent little tennis game. Trying not to drop anything. I got Chuck Rock. This is a fun little puzzle platformer. The greatest fighting game of all time. Shaq Fu. Legendary game, you guys. Great game. I got Young Merlin, a pretty fun little Zelda clone. Uh, it's okay. Championship Pool. This is a pool game that I found for two hours and I was like, why not? It's nothing really special though. And then Killer Instinct, a really fun fighting game. Uh, first, uh, I got into a giant, giant fight game move this month. Sorry, just set stuff aside. Uh, I got into a big fight game month this month, so expect a few fighting games to pop up. Uh, so on the PS1 I got MDK. This is a kind of generic third person shooter. Uh, kind of disappointing though. Like, MDK2 on Dreamcast is a really great game. Uh, this one's not as great, but uh, eh, it's okay, I suppose. I got R4, Ridge Racer Type 4, this is a fantastic racing game. And I specifically wanted R4 because it comes with uh, the original Ridge Racer, which is pretty great. Uh, so yeah, check this one out, great game. I don't even like racing games that much, honestly, you guys. Uh, I got Roscoe McQueen, Firefighter Extreme. This is a interesting, like, 3D platformer where you put out fires. Uh, it's pretty fun, actually. I, the only real issue I had with it is it's really short and kind of easy, but, you know, nothing bad, though. And then I got Big Race USA. Uh, this was one of, like, three games I owned as a kid. Uh, it was this, Crash 2, and Spyro 3. Uh, so I just played this to death when I was a kid. And uh, it's a pinball game. It's not even that great of a pinball game, honestly. But, uh, you know, nostalgia. So I'm having an issue trying to grab a couple of these games. Uh, I got, so I went on eBay and I bought a lot of Sega Saturn game in ports, which I don't tend to do because normally you get crappy games, but this time I actually got some good games. I got Virtual Cop 2, which I already had a copy of this, but mine was loose, so it's cool to finally have that complete in box. I got Virtual Fighter 2, another one I had loose, but now I have it complete. Uh, fantastic fighting game, really good game. I got Virtual Fighter. Uh, this is a pretty like lame port, but I think that this is the only like port of the Sega of uh, the original Virtual Fighter. I got Fire Pro Wrestling S Six Man Scramble. This is a fantastic pro wrestling game. I love the Fire Pro series. And then I got King of Fighters 96, a pretty decent fighting game. Uh, my only, my issue with King of Fighters is that they're pretty slow, or slow to me, and I'm not very good at fighters, so if a game is slow to me, that's kind of a downfall. Uh, so on the DS and 3DS, I got Gem Smashers. This is actually a pretty fun puzzle game. I would look into this one. This is kind of a hidden gem. See what I did there, hidden gem, gem smack, okay, yeah. Lame joke is, lame joke is lame, I know. Uh, I got Tokyo Beatdown. I don't know anything about this, it just looked kind of cool. And it was published by Atlas. And then I got The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Love this game. This was the first Zelda I ever actually beat by myself. And, uh, you know, one of my favorites. Really like that one. Uh, over on to Dreamcast, because I got quite a few Dreamcast games. Uh, I got these two Dreamcast demo discs, and eventually I want to make a video about Dreamcast demo discs, just because uh, they're really nostalgic for me, because back when I was a kid, I just had a bunch of demo discs that I would play frequently. Uh, I got Grand Theft Auto 2. I don't like this game that much, it wasn't that good, but thankfully it was only a dollar, so. Uh, I got... Fire Pro Wrestling D. 
Uh, you know, another great fire pro game, you know. Uh, I got Soul Calibur. This is one of my favorite Dreamcast games ever. Such a fantastic game. Uh, the reason why I picked this up is I already owned it, but my copy was loose, and I got this one for pretty good deal, uh, and I figured why not? I'd get a clean box copy. I got a Japanese version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Such a fantastic fighting game. Uh, honestly, I still prefer MVC 2 to MVC 3. Uh, even though MVC 2 is really unbalanced, uh, I just enjoy it more as a game. It's funner to me. <laughs> and then I got Headhunter. This is such a fantastic game. And I've actually uh, played a cop. I've played this played through this before, uh, you know, I pirated a copy, uh, which I hate doing, but the reason why is because I never thought I would actually own a copy of this, but uh, thankfully I got a good deal on this on eBay finally, after years of waiting. Uh, so I finally got a good copy, of, a good deal on this, and this is just such a fantastic Dreamcast game, I highly recommend you guys check this one out. Then on PS2, I picked up quite a few PS2 games. I got Street Fighter Alpha and Mythology. Like I said, buying a ton of fighters right now. Just been in a mood to play fighters. And this is uh, all of the Street Fighter Alpha games. One to one, port, arcade, ratio, whatever thing. Fantastic games, tons of fun. I will, alpha 3 is my favorite Alpha. I think it's everyone's favorite Alpha though, to be fair. Then I King of Fighters 11. I actually really like this one. Uh, I don't know, I just really like this one. Uh, yeah, this is the only King of Fighters I've ever actually liked, honestly. I got Shepherd's Crossing. I haven't played this yet, but it looked like a Harvest Moon clone, and that got me interested. I got Atari Anthology. This is a compilation disc thing of Atari games, and uh, I've wanted to play some Atari recently. And this seemed like a good purchase for me. I've got NFL Street 2, fantastic football game, tons of fun. Uh, love this game, great game. Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Sons of Liberty. Never played any of the Metal Gear Solid games, excluding the third one. I played the third one, the third one was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I might, I might have to crack in because I own the first three, actually. Uh, Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution, fantastic fighter. This is this is one of my most nostalgic games, because I had this back when I was a kid, and I just put so much time into it. This is such a great game. Uh, Virtual Fi Fighter 4 Evolution is one of the greatest fighters of all time. Uh, the Nightmare of Druaga, Fushi, Fushi no, Fushigi no Dungeon. There we go. Uh, I picked this up because it was pretty cheap, and uh, let's see, I think it's based on the Tower of Druaga, uh, which was this really old Namco arcade game that got an anime that I watched, and I actually kind of liked that anime, so I figured I'd check this out. Then on GameCube, because I got a couple GameCube games, I got Tac 2, The Staff of Dreams, I wanted to check out. Uh, a couple of these tech games, see what they're like, because I like 3D platformers, and, you know, it's a 3D platformer. It's kind of by the numbers, honestly. And True Crime Streets of L.A. This is a weird game, because uh, back when I was a kid, this was like, I don't know, this was like Grand Theft Auto that was on GameCube, so it was a big deal for me, uh, even though it's not really that good, if I'm being honest. But, you know, kind of cool. And on the Wii, or... Er, yeah, yeah, I'll do you next. Uh, I got Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I really like this. This is the only Silent Hill I've ever played, honestly. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed uh, what I played of this. The soundtrack is really good. And then I got Mercury Mercury Meltdown Revolution. I picked this up because uh, Silver Sylveon told me about it, and I was like, okay, if I see it for cheap, I'll pick it up, but I saw it for cheap. It's actually really fun. It's kind of like uh, Marvel Saga Core Infa, which is one of my favorite Wii games ever. That is such a great game. And Mercury Meltdown is pretty good too. So then I picked up some original Xbox games, and 
I don't pick up a lot of original Xbox, it's just not my system to collect for, but I figured I should pick up some of the games that interest me while they're cheap, because uh, I'm kind of afraid that original Xbox is going to go up in price eventually. Uh, so I got Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, I know nothing about this, I just saw it for cheap and figured why not. I got the original Halo, one of my all-time favorite first-person shooters. Such a fantastic game. Uh, love that game. I got Sega GT 2002, Jet Set Radio Future Combo Pack. I specifically sought out this version because this was the one I had as a kid. I love both of these games so much. They're both so much fun. One of the greatest combo packs of all time, in my opinion. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Black. Uh, I had this when I was a kid, and it kicked my butt then. I don't know if it'll kick my butt now. I need to play through that. Uh, Sudeki, I don't know anything about this. I just know it's an original Xbox exclusive, so I figured I'd check it out. Fable, The Lost Chapters. Uh, I picked this up specifically because it has all of the DLC for Fable on it. Uh, and I figured if I'm going to play through the original Fable again, I should do it with all the DLC. Yeah. And then Oddworld Stranger's Wrath, which is such a fantastic game. Uh, I love this game so much. I think it's between this and uh, New and Tasty as my favorite Oddworld games. And then on the PS4, I've got a couple PS4 games. I got Pac-Man World, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. <laughs> my bad. Uh, this is a really fun compilation disc. Uh, and Pac-Man World Championship Edition, whatever, it is really good too. I got Legend of K, uh, Anniversary. Uh, this is a Zelda clone, and I thought it'd be a 3D platformer, and it's a Zelda clone, and honestly, it's not that good of a Zelda clone, you guys. But I've played worse. Uh, I got Street Fighter V. This is the second time I've watched Street Fighter V. Uh, and yeah, I've just been in a big fighting game mood, and I figured, you know, Street Fighter V, kind of a no-brainer, really fun game, really like it. Uh, I got Assault Suit Lanos. I would really recommend checking this one out. It's a running gun shooter. This is a great game. Check this out. I got Tearaway Unfolded. I've never... I haven't played this version of Tearaway. I've played the Vita version, and I didn't like it. But I figure it'll fix my issues with the Vita version. Or I hope it will, at least. And then I got... Uh, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto. Uh, this is, I've wanted to check this out for a while now. God, I keep accidentally like uh, flashing the camera. But yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I've wanted to check this out for a while now because I really like Naruto and this had all the DLC to my knowledge, but now there's a new version with like the first four games, so I'm actually a little upset. But whatever. Uh, so this is really fun though. I'd recommend checking this out if you like Naruto. I love Naruto, so I had to give it a go. Uh, but yeah, so those are my pickups for the month of July. Uh, if you guys like this video, like it down below, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Click on one of the annotations to the right or left or whatever side it comes up on. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time and peace.